Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Coming to you from Norwich Airport right now because in about an hour's time I am going to be boarding a flight up to Aberdeen where I am then going to be driven to uh, the Fife Arms in Braemar and I'm going to be staying there for two nights. I am so excited for this trip. It is a, um, it is a complimentary work related trip and these aren't the types of things that I usually document that heavily because I don't particularly find them to be that beneficial to kind of show. I know they can be a bit icky for some people and I totally get that and I feel a bit showy-offy when I kind of document these kinds of things. However, this trip in particular I am going to document more heavily than I have documented trips in the past because A, I have wanted to stay at the Five Farms for so long. I first went to the Five Farms about two years ago. I just went for dinner and it was, I fell in love with the place. It's completely the opposite to my style. It's like such a maximalist hotel, but it's incredible. Um, and B, it's snowing in Braemar at the moment and I'm yet to feel festive. So I think it's gonna be, I think it's just gonna look beautiful and it deserves to be documented. And C, anytime I've kind of featured Scotland, whether it's been a, it's like work or pleasure, a lot of people have enjoyed it and Scotland for me like it it means a lot to me Scotland is a very special place to, to me and whenever I go up there I really like to kind of document it as much as I can and when I've done the road trip vlogs in the past when we've been to Scotland um, people have really enjoyed them so I thought you might enjoy this because it's a chance to just show an absolutely beautiful place um, so I can't wait but yeah I'm not actually boarding for another like 45 minutes so I'm going to sit and read my book. I've just started reading Sweet Bean Paste um, which was recommended to me actually by a girl who I sometimes talk to on Instagram called Emma. If you're watching Emma, hello and thank you for the recommendation. Um, so yeah, I will see you on the other side. Good morning from the Fife Arms. I can't quite believe I'm actually here. I feel a bit starstruck, if you can be starstruck with a hotel, just because it's somewhere, like I said at the start, that I've wanted to stay for, stay at for so long. And this hotel could not be any further away from my personal interior taste if it tried. But I actually love hotels like this. They're so maximalist and it's done in such a particular way I just absolutely love it. It's a complete sensory overload, but in the best possible way. And I, as much as I love minimal interiors, things that are paired back, I think at this time of year, these types of hotels feel exceptionally cozy because there is so much around you and the colors are so rich and the furnishings are so soft and plush and everything feels really cozy. There's always a fire, there's books to read, you know, hot drinks. Um, so this time of year, I really love but like being in these sort of like quite over the top hotels. There's also an absolutely excellent selection of art here that I've been having a browse this morning. There's just so much to take in. Um, and I'm just so, so excited to be here. I also can't quite believe I'm here because it was quite a turbulent flight. There was a storm last night and so I flew from Norwich, which is a tiny little airport. I think there's only like two or three gates at the airport. And the plane that flies from Norwich up to Scotland is tiny. You can only just stand up in it. Uh, it's the type of plane that has the seat formation is like one and then two. Very, very narrow. Um, so you can imagine it's a, it's a small thing, very light, and it was getting blown around by the wind quite a lot. But we managed to land a very, very rocky landing. Um, however, after that flight all of the flights were cancelled so it meant that the people who were also on this trip coming from London couldn't get here they flew here 
and then they couldn't land and did some circling, tried to land at some other airports and then ended up back at Heathrow, I think. It all sounds a bit of a nightmare, really, for those guys. Um, so I've just been in the five farms on my own, just loving it, exploring, just being very, very leisurely with my time. Had a lovely dinner last night and some cocktails. Had a great breakfast this morning. I've just really been just taking the time to drink it all in. Um, and I'm now gonna go for a walk around the village because there's a couple of shops that the taxi driver told me about that I wanna pop in, including a chocolate shop. And I just wanna take some photos of the hotel, I think, whilst it's still, there's still quite a lot of snow around. So I'm hoping it will still look quite snowy from the the view at the hotel will still be covered in some snow. So yeah, that's my plan. Um, and then I'm just gonna wait until all of the other people arrive. Um, and then we're gonna go for lunch and do some other kind of outdoor bits. is my rather extra dress for this evening's dinner. I really don't think you're gonna be able to see it very well. I'm gonna try and get a better video of it when I'm out of the hotel room, but it is um, this very voluminous, straight black organza dress from a New Zealand brand called Harris Tapper, and it's got a really high neck. And on the back, which you won't be able to see, there is this really big flappy bow detail. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got it last year during lockdown, have not had a single chance to wear it, apart from when I took a few photos for Instagram last year. Um, so this very festive evening feels like a very suitable um, occasion to finally wear it. But yeah, I'll get a better video of it in some better light because it is an absolutely, in my eyes, it's an absolutely stunning dress. It's very much a, quite a large column, um, but I just think it's so, so beautiful. <laughs> like a puffy tired mess this morning but it's Christmas tree day yeah. oh, the, the lack of enthusiasm for the Christmas tree um, we've come to a farm that's about 20 minutes away from where we live where the trees are grown and then the people that own the farm very kindly allow you to pick the tree that you want and then they cut it down for you and wrap it all up Well, that was possibly the swiftest Christmas tree selection like choosing ever. The yeah. woman, oh, I can't do my seatbelt one. <laughs> the woman was very helpful. She knew exactly she, she knew exactly what the type of tree I was looking for, and she picked one out immediately, and it was perfect. It's a belter. It was an absolute belter. It's very. We've gone for Nordman fir this year. We got Norway spruce last year, which I did like, but it was, they're quite like dense in the middle and then they're really like scraggly on the ends. Whereas Nordman fir, you kind of get the gaps. <laughs> what? Yeah. You know, do you get what I mean? No, they just all look like So trees. you know like the, the, the branch, blue. they'll be, you have like a row of branches. Let's then they'll be. Oh. Anyway, the tree we've got is, it's good.
trying to remember what day it is. It's Sunday. Right, Sunday. Apologies if the quality of this is really bad. I'm filming on my phone just because I've left the vlog camera back at the house and I'm now back at the flat. Um, so what was the last thing you would have seen? Oh yeah, cr Christmas tree. Christmas tree is bought, decorated up. That's obviously at the house, not here at the flat because I am not really here much anymore. I'm only really here if I need to do some work here or kind of need to get bits. We're kind of doing the, the moving process in like small chunks just because we haven't had kind of like a consecutive amount of days together where we can do it in one big chunk. Uh, plus I don't really have to be out until the 6th of Jan. So anyway, really boring story that you don't need to know. The, the thing that you do need to know is that um, we're going to Barcelona this evening and I'm now about to start packing. So Dean and I are going to Barcelona for a week and it is kind of half work, half pleasure. So I'm going because I'm filming a project that's gonna take about two to three days. So I decided to extend it to the full week uh, so I could obviously explore Barcelona a bit more. And Dean can actually join me for once. It's very rare he gets to join me on things like this because obviously he has his own job and he can't really just drop everything at moment's notice and travel with me. But he's pretty much done for Christmas. So he can join me. I'm really, really excited because I've not been to Barcelona for years. Dean's never been. Um, and I think the thing that both of us are most excited about is just the prospect of dry weather. Just being able to see a blue sky, I cannot wait. I know it's not gonna be boiling hot, but it's gonna be much better than it is here. Um, we've just had torrential rain for ages. Anyway, I'm gonna to attempt to pack really light. Um, well, really light by my standards. I'm a notorious overpacker. Like I'll pack a month's worth of clothes just for like a week away. So this might not be light for some people, but for me, this feels incredibly light. I'm gonna pack three outfits, one of which I'm traveling in. So technically I'm only packing two outfits into my suitcase. So my travel outfit is gonna be this turtleneck with white jeans. These are the weekday um, row jeans. I'll show you this outfit when I actually get it on. Then this big gray dress and gown style coat. And then I'm gonna pair it with this bag from a brand. I think this is a Korean brand called Wasi, Osi, I think it's like O-C, how it's pronounced, O-S-O-I. And then shoes wise, Clark's Wallabies in the, I think this is called the Maple Suede. So that's my travel outfit. Then in terms of packing, I'm gonna go with some, I am taking an additional coat and I, I know that probably seems a bit silly, but I just wanna have that option. Um, so this is what's gonna take up the main room in my suitcase. Um, navy, kind of just very classic, straight, um, smart coat. And then that's from LFM, by the way. Sandro trousers, the ones that you always, always see. Such classic, absolutely love these trousers. Two turtlenecks, um, one grey, one black. Some jeans, some blue jeans. These are the weekday rail jeans. They're very oversized, a very relaxed fit. And then I am just gonna take this cropped jacket with me in case I get a little bit too hot in those coats. Um, Cause I know like some of the days it's meant to be 16 degrees, which actually like by our standards is quite warm. I will also pack a couple of beanies in case it gets really cold in the evening, a pair of gloves. Um, and then the other pair of shoes I'm gonna take with me are my Maison Margiela Tabby Mary Janes, because I have not had the chance to wear these yet simply because the weather just hasn't allowed here. So I thought, perfect opportunity to finally wear these. And then my second bag I'll take is the Le Mer camera bag. I've also toyed with the idea of taking my Birkenstocks, the suede Bostons, but I don't know, I've got the Wallabies, so I don't feel like I really need to take another suede shoe. But I think it's just the novelty of being able to wear suede and knowing it's not actually gonna pour down with rain. So that's it, that's all I'm packing clothes-wise. Obviously I'm gonna take pants, socks, all that kind of stuff, but I, I feel a bit nervous about it, but I just I just wanna feel like super relaxed. I don't wanna to have to overthink about what I'm wearing. I've managed to put together three really nice looks with all of these pieces. They're not three standalone looks, they're kind of mixy and matchy, which I think is much better because I feel like I'm not packing as much by packing three separate outfits. Um, uh, yeah, so once I'm packed, I'm closing the case. 
and I'm not I'm not going to overthink this I'm just going to be like that's it done finito um, so yeah wish me luck with this Good morning and welcome to day two in Barcelona. Um, standing on our balcony. This is the view from our balcony. I'm very pleased to have a balcony. Rarely have a balcony in a hotel room actually. Um, so yesterday was like a full on walking around the city kind of day. We just spent, we had a really long lie in because we got in so late the previous night and then just spent the whole day just like taking in Barcelona really. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Um, so we just fancied walking around and soaking it in, so you would have seen Sagra Sagrada Familia, um, some of the Gaudi buildings, we went to a nice deli for lunch, we had Mexican for dinner, it's actually just a really nice relaxing day. Um, today we are up slightly earlier though because we are now about to get on the train to go to the Dali Museum which is about two hours away. Um, it might seem a bit daft coming to Barcelona and then actually kind of leaving Barcelona but I, well, I'd like to think Dean is really eager to go as well, but I am probably more eager to go than he is. Um, and I don't know when we'll next be in Spain and have the chance to actually go to that area of Spain, so we thought, why not? Might be quite a nice train journey. Um, so yeah, that's about two hours, that train journey. Um, and then we'll probably be there for like two, three hours and then we'll come back and I quite fancy just getting room service in the hotel room tonight and having a nice relaxing evening because tomorrow is when I actually have to start working. Um, I've only had two, three days here. The next three days is going to be me working, which I'll document as much as I can. Anyway, um, we need to go. But it is called a museum. Oh, no, I didn't know. Um, you could definitely tell it was something that he created because it was just all over the place, mm -hmm. but in a good way. And the kind of work that was there wasn't the work I was expecting. No. You know, there wasn't a lot of the kind of stuff that I think wasn't the big... we love. Yeah. Which I didn't mind because I saw stuff that I'd never seen before. It wasn't the greatest hits. No, that's exactly it. It wasn't the greatest hits. It was more like the B-side. Yeah. <laughs> Darley's B-side. But that was, I guess, how he wanted to kind of... Yeah, what do you call it when you, like, preserve... Not preserve, but you know what I mean? Like, immortalise himself. Because yeah. he's buried there as well. Yeah. 
Um, I suppose all of his big ones got soft as well. Yeah, well, yeah, because we I've seen so much of his work elsewhere. So it's either on loan or it's sold or it's you know it's part of someone else's collection or like the stuff that you we really know and love. Um, and the train journey was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah. Got to see a magical sunset and just spent the whole time looking out the window, the which lovely. was lovely. Down this way. Um, we're now going to go for breakfast because I'm working this afternoon. So you've got an afternoon on your own. Yeah, that's Oh. So we're going to go to a place called Caravel, which was like one of the top recommendations that was given to me when I put a little thing out on Instagram. Um, so yes, that is, that's what we're doing this morning. The time has come for us to leave sunny Barcelona. It's been a really nice week. That was a really noisy horn. Um, it's been a really lovely week. The work side of it was quite intense. I know I'm being a bit cryptic about why I'm actually here, but I don't know if I'm embargoed, so I don't really want to risk it. But it's a big, I should really just do this inside, shouldn't I? <laughs> it's a big video project that will be out at some point next year. Anyway, we're just waiting for a taxi. Um, should be here in five minutes. Ready to go back to grey old England. Terrifying Covid England. It seems like cases have just skyrocketed in the past week. Kind of feels like it'd be safer for us to stay here than to go home. But we've been testing every day, we've been wearing our masks, our PCRs have been negative, so it's all good for us to go home. Um, and I think when we get home it's just a case of hibernating. Did you just... It's a case of us just hibernating until Christmas because I really do not want to get COVID and be in a position where we have to isolate over Christmas and not see anyone. Um, it feels so much like deja vu and I really don't want a repeat of last year. Anyway. Stay safe. Stay everyone. safe and um, see you when we get back to England. very nostalgic setting up the camera here about to get ready and have a chat with you all um today is the 20th of december i have no idea the amount of footage that i've filmed at the moment i haven't even started putting this vlog together so this is literally going to be a big bumper christmas vlog that will probably end up being like an hour long anyway um i can't believe it's christmas week um uh, how has this happened where has this come from i'm not prepared whatsoever so today and tomorrow is going to be quite a christmas prep day i've got 
presents to get for people, I've got to drop off cards to people, I've got to just do all that kind of stuff um, and there's still more packing to do. So I'm here in the house but a lot of my stuff is still in the flat so the main bulk of everything I need is here and Dean and I have just been moving boxes in like bit by bit as and when we've got the time. Um, so I'm heading back to the flat today to do some more packing um, and then I think Wednesday we're getting the big truck and we're moving all the big things like the sofa, the bed, just all of the basically the furniture. I remember quite a few people were asking what's going to happen with like my sofa and everything in last week's vlog. Um, it's not going anywhere, like I'm not getting rid of it, um, it's just having to go into storage. I would have loved to have had the Hay Mag sofa in this house. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too wide for the front room. So it's going to go into a family member's garage. They very kindly allowed me to use their garage as a storage facility. So I'm going to wrap it all up. But apart from that, pretty much everything is going to come here. We're just going to get rid of... So like the current bed here um, isn't great. So we're going to get rid of this and have the moody bed here. A lot of the chairs and stuff actually can be used here. So it's going to be a tight squeeze. There's a lot of stuff to fit into a much smaller space, but it actually feels quite cosy. We've already started to bring quite a few bits over and it kind of feels a lot more cosier in the house now. Um, but yeah, don't fear. That stuff will have a home again eventually when we move or, you know, whatever our, our living situation, our next li living situation is, we will have the, the hay sofa back out again. But it does feel a little bit sad that it's going to be just wrapped away in storage until it's time for it to come back out. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's my update on this very, very dull Monday morning. Um, I just feel like, whoa, just so overwhelming. And then all of just like this Omicron stuff as well, just piling on top of it. I'm just sort of like, I just want to get to Friday. Yeah, I just want to get to Christmas Eve and then be like, right, done. Um, and just enjoy Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day with family. So when the lasagna gets delivered, does it come uh, frozen? Okay, or... I just, uh, <laughs> I don't know why you didn't feel comfortable talking to me about it. It's not important. We have a wreath on the front door. It's the exact same wreath that I got last Christmas. Those of you that have been watching the vlogs for a while will remember this time last year I had the same, exact same wreath as this from a florist that is based in, I believe, Somerset? It's either Somerset or Bath and she goes by the name Lunaria. Um, such a beautiful wreath. Um, so I decided to repurchase and a lot of you will remember that it was such a beautiful wreath that lasted so long that I ended up having it displayed above the fireplace in the flat um, until like summer, maybe even later. I might have only just thrown it away and... Oh, hi! Hello, oh, no. I was just shouting you. Oh, well, you are just talking Go about this. <laughs> um, I've completely lost my train of thought now. Yeah, I ended up keeping it for ages um, and only just threw it away sort of like autumn time this year. So I imagine I'll keep this one for a while. Whether it will stay on the front door, I don't know. Probably not, it'll probably go somewhere in the house, but it's just so beautiful. Hello. Oh, <laughs> it is, oh, oh God. Um, it's Christmas Eve, the day before Christmas Day, just in case you didn't know what Christmas Eve is. Um, I think today will be the day that this vlog finally goes live. Um, it's been about a month in the making. It's gonna be a mammoth vlog. Um, so for all you sort of like late night, Dean just singing. Um, so if anyone up late this evening that'd be a nice treat for you all and all the long vlog fans. Um, I was going to do like a big sign off where I kind of said thank you and wished everyone a Merry Christmas but actually I think after Christmas I'm going to do it's kind of like a reflections video on I guess 2021 and what it's been like to live alone and I guess what my hopes are for the future. Um, so I'll kind of do a proper kind of thanks and wrap up the year in that video. Um, today we're going to take the camper van out um, because she hasn't been taken out for a while and it's kind of like a Christmas tradition now that we always go to the beach on Christmas Eve and just have a really relaxed, quiet day. Just taking in the sea and the scenery. Um, 
there is a dog, dog barking outside, I apologise if you can hear that. So yeah, that's our plan today. I won't include it in this vlog just because I think this vlog is already going to be at like full capacity in terms of length. I really don't want this to be over an hour. So in the vlog after Christmas, I'll um, have all of today's adventures in that vlog. Um, so until that vlog, I really hope that all of you are doing well. Um, I know out of nowhere all of a sudden everyone's Christmases just kind of got turned upside down. We had lots of plans this week and have not fulfilled any of those plans. We've not seen any of our friends this week, um, some of our friends have got Covid, others have just decided to cancel because they just don't want to risk the chance of getting Covid before they go and see their family this weekend. Um, so we've actually just had a really chill week of kind of sitting on the sofa every evening, just like eating cheese and crackers, drinking wine. I've been reading books, which I will also talk about in next, the next vlog. Um, and so yeah, it's actually been really relaxing. Um, not quite the Christmas we had in mind, but still extremely grateful that neither of us have actually got COVID and we're still able to go and see Dean's family this weekend. So. Yeah, just feeling really, really thankful that we've managed to swerve all of that because I know so many people, I've seen a lot of people online are basically just stuck at home for Christmas on their own or, you know, they're isolating with a partner and they're not able to see their family. So if you are in that situation, my heart goes out to you and I just hope that you are able to celebrate with all your loved ones maybe after Christmas. I know quite a few people are kind of doing a slightly delayed Christmas on like the 27th or the 28th. Um, if you're not a Christmas person then I just hope that you manage to have quite a, a restful break and I know Christmas can be a really difficult time for people so if you are struggling at the moment I hope it's a really peaceful one for you. I think I personally just really like to have a very kind of like chilled quiet time I'm not really into the sort of like gift giving side of it or anything like that I just think it's a lovely time to just sort of kind of see out the end of the year with your loved ones and that's what I look forward to the most um, and I know not everyone has that attitude and not everyone enjoys this time of year so I just hope that you can I guess find some peace and some solace at this um, time of year anyway I am going to go pack the camper van because we're, we're going to have, um, oh that's the other thing, so for Christmas we're not actually having Christmas dinner, this is really boring, I don't know why I'm telling this, this is the next week's vlog, so we actually had Christmas dinner a couple of days ago, just Dean and I on our own and we've got loads of leftovers, so we're going to make Christmas sandwiches and have those on our little trip to the beach today. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up here, thank you so so much for watching this ginormous vlog um, and I shall see you all after Christmas.